Uh, here I am doing the old uh, mashing. Put the grains in now. The temperature's at 154. I want to be a little bit higher just to get it in there. And uh, make sure you don't get any dough balls in there. But squash them on the sides if you do. So I'm reliably, there's one there. So I'm reliably informed by all these experts, which I'm not one of them. But you've got to be careful you don't get what, what they call a stuck mash, so I'm told. And make sure it's all dissolved and, well not dissolved, but broken down and whatever. Then we've got to leave it for about 10 minutes. Reminds me, I've got to set me alarm. So, there we go. Temperature's dropping now. The heater should kick on again in a minute. There you go, I'll do it for a minute till we get going. The boiling stage now, um, as you can see, a nice rolling boil. Um, I've got my hot spider in. That's my grains down there after the uh, after the mash. Um, I've had to up the temperature because the gauge kept switching off for some reason until I get used to it uh, to make sure that um, it stays boiling all the time. Um, that's. Uh, one I'm drinking at the moment and that is that proper job that'll keep me going while I'm waiting I've got me, me hops weighing me hops out in the little cup there anyway work in progress see you in a bit well uh, hi everybody um, I'm just giving you a quick update on the on the brew um, it's now time on a minute. It's now five past. Sorry, ten past eleven in, in the evening. Um, I'm just going to show you the difference of the yeast activity in there. Look at that! Now it's going absolutely mental. Look at that! It's going absolutely mental. A little bit different than what it was earlier. You wouldn't think one packet of yeast could do that, would you? I'm using uh, US05 yeast because uh, it's meant to be a pale ale and it has got paler since I put the yeast in, no doubt about that. And the crowsing on the top is getting a bit bigger now, and the old blubber blubber is giving it rubber as you can see well happy days i shall keep you posted well everybody there's me keg with all the beer that i've made gone in there sorry i've missed a few sections out but I've just been too busy and stuff but uh i'll pour a pint out and let you see that one as well There's my first pint there. Well, there's my pint there. It looks lovely, doesn't it? I'm, I am quite pleased with this. Um, I'm just going to let a little test on it and see what it's like. Just trying to turn the camera around. Yeah, so uh, smells quite hoppy, hoppy jalopy. Yeah, smells lovely. Hmm. It's only a, like a couple of weeks old, but that is really good. I uh, really chuffed with that for my first one. Cheers, everybody. Good health. I think it finished up at about 
5.38%, so got to be happy with that. Cheers. Well, hi, uh, everybody. Thank you for tuning into my my little uh, channel here. Well, as you can tell, I am a bit of a novice at all this, but uh, <coughs> I'm, I'm having a go. Um, just to explain a bit of the bit of the processes what I went through. I, I I tried to make a an IPA using Maris Otter and some caramel and US05 yeast. My water profile I was aiming for was about five four, which I pretty much achieved. Um, it's quite a lot involved in all this brewing, as I'm, I'm finding out. But um, hopefully bit later on I'll uh, get a bit better at it I've done uh, what, what should I say uh, some of these IPAs you can get in boxes uh, they weren't too bad but I think this is um, actually got the edge on that so this is the way I'm going to continue in the future improving my processes and trying to gain more knowledge about the game and um, yeah so hopefully things will improve and uh, I'll be on here again at some point with hopefully a slightly better presentation so thank ev thanks to everybody for watching and um, happy brewing and get it down your neck cheers <laughs>